in a few weeks from today, we'll possibly ask you to come. Energy up. Cabinet Secretary Davis Churcher says the government is actively seeking to bring down the power cost of doing business in Kenya in order to effectively compete with other African countries in attracting investors. He says the upgrade that led to power interruptions in Westlands, Parklands and Loresho this weekend are part of those efforts by ensuring reliable power connection. Uh, you do appreciate that in the delivery of power, it's one thing to uh, generate power, it's another thing to have a reliable delivery mechanism from the distribution, from the transmission network through the distribution network to where we live so that what is generated is able to run industry, is able to light our homes. And um, it's an exciting program uh, as enumerated by the CEO, Dr. Ben Chuma, what they set out to do from April to strengthen the network and ensure that what we generate out there from Kindaruma to Olkaria to um, uh, the various generating points all the way down to Sondu, we are able to deliver that power to industry and to our homes. Kenya Power Managing Director Ben Chumo says the upgrades which began in April and have already taken place in eight towns have resulted in a reduced number of complaints. Regarding the revenues that will accrue from this one billion investment, we appreciate that uh, outages constitute loss of revenue and uh, we would we have specific uh, assignments based on these particular revenues that we shall be considering and we can't uh, defy the numbers at the moment. But we, what we are saying is that when you have a steady, uh, robust network that offer 24 hour service, then we would benefit both ways, the customers manufacturing their products 24 hour seven, while uh, the company also have its revenues on this other side of the scale. The upgrades carried out in Westlands, Parklands and Loresho this weekend are only the most recent and will see 215 wooden poles replaced with concrete ones, 61 transformers refurbished and the Parkland substation undergo master repair works, among other improvements. I'm Olive Barrows for Capital TV.